And nobody seems to be talking about the fact that the whole movie seems to be about the about Scarlett Johansson having a hiney. I mean, it features in so many shots. It's like, oh, she's getting into the car. Why are we focused on the hiney? I mean, it's a great hiney, but I mean, is this what the movie's about? Most of the movies you get like, like, there's just a hiney shot there, but no. Scarlett Johansson's hiney is practically the star of Black Widow. Not Scarlett Johansson, her hiney. And I mean, yeah, that's a great hiney, but is that really how you want to go out? Like, the movie seems to be, like, the, 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 the director of photography of this film had to have a butt fetish. Anyway, butt fetish aside, for every thousand subscribers I get, I purchase something like this mask, which is too small for me, from the company 4Ocean. And 4Ocean pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. So, if you would be so good as to comment, like, and subscribe... Your hiney will probably be less covered in trash when the oceans burst their shores and take your home. Global warming is a bad thing, people. Alrighty, so. The movie Black Widow is something of an origin story for Black Widow, but you get that in flashbacks. You find out there are other Black Widows, and it is a, um, something of a revenge story for how she became Black Widow. Okay. We start this as she is going into hiding because of the events of Civil War. So... She's not signing the Sarkovia Accord. She's going into hiding. She's being chased by Ross, who's a fool. And, you know, there you have it. That's what's going on. Now, it turns out she had a non-biological sister who she was living in the United States with and being trained by another... Um, villain named the Red Guard, played by Harbor, who's the guy from Stranger Things. He's really hot right now, so he's got to be in this movie. And, you know, they had this fake family in the U.S. before they went back to Russia and became... She became a Black Widow. So Black Widow is not... Her title it is the title of what Russia calls her thing, right? And now, some scientist has discovered, we don't know who, a device, a substance, that will cut the mechanisms they use to contain the, the, control the Black Widows so that they have free will once again, all right? Kind of a weird plot. So what they have to do is they have to get to the Black Widow training facility and spray the widows with this red stuff so that way they will all stop being under the control of a sicko who likes to control women and the world. And he is really in control of the world for some reason, but we don't know why. Okay. Now, I just have to point out here that when the world was in danger, the characters of this movie would have come in real handy. An army of people who can fight just about as well as Black Widow would have been really useful. Uh, David Harbour's character, the Red Guard, who's as strong as Captain America, would have been really useful. But we're going to set that aside. This is kind of a movie that just... It, it just doesn't fit. It is a movie that you kind of have to cram into the Marvel Cinematic Universe to make it fit. Excuse me. But, um... All in all, it is entertaining. You get some nice fight scenes. You get Scarlett Johansson's uh, rather nice Heine. 
you don't get to see the, the thing uncovered in cloth, but it's still a nice hiney. So there you are, you know, this is a movie. It's not a great movie. Quite frankly, I don't think this is a great review. If you like seeing special effects, oh, by the way, just Taskmaster, I have to comment on Taskmaster. This is not Taskmaster from the comics. This is Taskmaster from this movie. It is a completely different Taskmaster. I mean, you know, looks the same, different character. All right, so, so there you are. Now, I do have to make other comments here, like uh, the Red Guard talks about fighting a Captain America in the 80s, and Captain America, of course, was in ice in the 80s. Well, it is Marvel canon that somebody took up the mantle of Captain America after Captain America was frozen. In fact, I believe this was originally the same Captain America, and Captain America was never frozen, but because this Captain America was a dick and relentlessly hunted people who he believed were communist, they decided that Dick Captain America, not a good thing. Anyway, so where do I rank this movie? It was fairly entertaining. I could get through this movie without wanting to leave the theater, without wanting to walk away. I don't have Disney+. Plus. So I have to say this movie is one you should put on your watch list. It is a fun movie. It's not a really fun movie. It's not a you-have-to-see-it movie. It's just a movie you put on your watch list. You'll enjoy it. Maybe not a huge amount, but it's good enough. And that's where it is. So, put it on your watch list, a little on the low side. Please do not pay $30 to see this on whatever streaming service. But yeah, there it is. Not a bad movie. Not a terrible movie. But one worth watching. But that's just my opinion. Love to hear yours. Comments below. I am Richard. <clears throat> Greetings, Americans. I am Borgoff. Just Borgoff, regular blue Borgoff, not stealth Borgoff, not can't see the blood of my enemies Borgoff, just Borgoff, reminding you to like and subscribe to this video or I shall use ancient Russian chokehold on you. We'll make your toes pop. Then I will eat them because in Russia there is not much food. Comment and like on this video. And you can see more of me on Absurd TV!